Hi Colin, it's Wednesday. And Colin, today I need to talk to you about something that is very important to me. Colin, this is a skill that is so important to me that I have never mastered it. It's time to talk about time management. Now Colin, you may not know this about me, but I am a procrastinator by nature. And I have gotten incredibly good at rationalizing to myself why my procrastination is actually the right thing to do. For example, right now I am putting off finishing homework for AP Psych and AP Physics, and you know why? Well, because in the grand scheme of things, I mean, neither of these classes are really going to matter more than anything else, and all of these little letter grades are going to be completely meaningless as soon as I end the course and never think about them any ever again. But the point of the matter really is, is that I think that this is more important. Colin, like the way we deal with issues in society, we prioritize things, and we have to figure out what is most important to us at that exact moment. So for me, in this moment, talking to you about life and trying to get some better understanding of it is more important to me than filling out some meaningless pieces of paper. And Colin, like many high school students, I do a lot of things. I've touched on some of these ideas in the past, but today I really want to try and get a little bit deeper into it. I like to think of myself as someone who's able to, for the most part, balance all the aspects of my life. I do well in school, I'm a pretty good friend, I'm a decent boyfriend, I try to take care of my family as much as I possibly can, I'm a hard worker when I'm at work, I'm a slightly above average worker when in high school because I know it doesn't matter but I still think that it has to matter because that's what I've been taught by society. What was I saying? Right, so I'm a balanced individual who's managed to equalize things, but the thing is that a lot of people are not capable of doing those things. They get focused or stuck on different aspects of their life. Maybe all they do is worry about their sport and they let their grades fall and their families slip by. But then there are also people who are incredibly good at balancing all their relationships but and are amazing at school, but cannot be athletic or involved in any extracurriculars at all, and they have no time for any of that. And there are some people who spend more of their time on their job and don't care as much about school or other other things or there are people who care about school and don't have any of these other things that are going on with them and there is every single possible combination of all of these different variables in every single person that there is everybody has all these different variables to different degrees and they all have different variables to some degree so I know that I'm being incredibly kevin -y when I say all of these things so quickly and repeat the same words over and over again trying to get across the point that people are different that is okay, and we shouldn't judge people for that. And Colin, to be honest, I'm saying that not for you, not for the audience, I'm saying that for me. Because I frequently judge other people who do not live the same way that I do, because I think that if they live in balance, that they're doing something wrong. But that idea of imbalance is only in my head. It's in my perception of how they are living their lives, and I'm sure that they can sometimes feel the same way about me. But the problem is, is that we're not thinking from their perspective. They have chosen to do things in a way that is balanced and equal and manageable for them just the way that I have. And Colin, this is a big problem that I have with today's school system, which is that it doesn't understand that different people have different priorities. Instead, it presumes that everyone needs to have these same priorities that it has set out before them because some people in charge have decided that these are the important things. And I say all of this not as some naive high school student who hates the administration, but as someone who understands that running a large group of people is incredibly difficult to do. But one of the most important things about leading people is hearing them and listening to what they want and need. And that is something that a lot of our administrations, both at the school level and in our government and in all the other facets of American life and most of Western life in general, are unable to do. Listen. We are all going to put different priorities on different things. We are all going to do things in different ways. We are all going to live our lives for us in the way that is balanced and manageable for our own ideas of what life should be. And we are not all going to make the right decisions. Some of us are going to procrastinate and then claim that we are good and balanced at all things even though we are incredibly sleep deprived. But we are all, in the end, going to end up doing what we think is best for us because that is the only thing that we as humans know how to do. What is best for us and our circumstances in the moment? This is what we do. We make decisions. We make judgment calls. And maybe they're not always the best in the long term. But in that moment, they always justify your actions. Colin, I'm tired and I still have work to do, so I will see you on Saturday. Thank you again, as always, to everyone who watches us follows us, comments, talks to us about it. We always appreciate it. We love your feedback in any way, shape, or form. So thank you. Thank you for supporting this, and thank you for supporting us. Colin, I'll see you on Saturday.